Well, it's good that you're here uh, to have a look at these example questions involving percentages, fractions and decimals and how they relate to each other. Yeah? Because we've learned in the previous videos, all three of them say something about a part of the whole. Okay, And we've said that percentages means out of a hundred. Yeah? Um, like a century and cents in a dollar. Okay, so how do we convert it? Now, I want you to try it yourself first. I know it's, it's nice and pink, yeah, so I hope um, it doesn't affect your eyes. But 25%, what is that as a fraction? What is that as a decimal? Yeah, so complete the table 0 0.34. What is that as a fraction? And what is that as a percentage? Okay, so I'm going to give you my workings now, and I hope you've tried it yourself first. 25% as a fraction, so that will be 25 out of 100. Yeah, because that is exactly what a percentage means, 25 out of 100. Now, fractions we have to simplify, okay? Now, maybe you don't see that in one go, yeah? uh, the most simple or the simplest answer. So do it step by step. You can divide both by 5, 5 over 20. I can still divide that by 5, 1 over 4. Yeah, a quarter, 25%, 1 over 4, yeah? 1 quarter. What is that as a decimal? Now, a decimal... Uh, has a particular place value, well, tens, hundreds, and this is 25 out of 100, so those are 25 hundreds, 0 0.25, which is a quarter, yeah? Or if you can say, yeah, you can see here 25 hundreds. Okay, a little bit quicker now, 0 0.34 as a fraction, well, tens, hundreds, yeah, so 34 of those hundreds, yeah, make sure you always simplify that, they're both even, I can divide them both by two, 17 over 15. Well, 17 is a prime, actually, if you know what primes are, otherwise check out one of my other videos. And I cannot divide 50 by 17, so that's the simplest form. As a percentage, it's 34 out of 100, so that is 34%. Yeah? 0 0.34 times 100%, 34%. All right, seven tens, okay, perhaps uh, a little bit more difficult. However, if you understand the percentage, it's not. Percentage is out of 100, so I gotta find that equivalent fraction uh, out of 100, which is, uh, oh, multiply both by 10 then, eh? so 70 out of 100, which makes it 70%. And there you can just say 0 0.7, and perhaps in this stage you would say 0 0.70, although you don't have to, 0 0.7, eh? 7 tenths would be sufficient. 54%, a little bit quicker now, let's do the decimal first, 0 0.5. Four, all right, and as a fraction, 54 hundreds yeah, out of 100, yeah, that's related to that as well. Um, divide both by two because they're both even. Uh, 25, what is it? 27 over 50. 27, I can divide it by three, I can divide it by nine, but I can't divide 50 by three or nine, so that's the most simplest form. Now, always a little bit careful here, 0.05, yeah. So that is 500, yeah? So one out of 20, and as a percentage, that is 5%, yeah? 0.5% if you like, not 50%, yeah? Very commonly made mistake, but I'm sure that from now on you won't, yeah? 5%, 50% would be 0 0.5, okay? Six over 25, last one. Let's do the percentage first, which is out of 100. So I multiplied by 4, eh? 25 times 4 is 100, uh, but that's only equivalent, that's only equal if I multiply the numerator by 4 as well. 24 makes it 24%, eh? percentage out of 100, 0 0.24. Good. Quite a few questions, I hope that was useful. Uh, I'll make a worksheet for you which you can uh, try for free and uh, have a go yourself again. See you later.